Hi, and welcome to a special edition of The Grape List that I'm calling Between Two Wines. To, my, to your left, you'll find a 2016 Zinfandel. To your right, you'll find a 2017 Zinfandel. They're both 15.5% alcohol and coming to us by F. Stephen Miller, who's located in the Acampa region of California. So in this edition, we're going to find out what's the difference between years and why does it matter? So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. Which wine to try first? Do I try the 2016 or the 2017? Ah, well, you know what? Mama ain't raised no fool and she taught me to always respect my elders. So, eldest first, 2016 Zinfandel. What do you taste like? Wow. Oh gosh, this is like so rich in taste and texture. Oh, uh, where was I in 2016? Man, should have bought way more of these things. This is really, really good. Whew, very, very smooth. Extremely smooth. Has zero tannins to it, really. Uh, tannins usually are, uh, are a product of like things like the stems and the grapes, seeds. So usually imparts like a heavier tannin taste, but I'm guessing they removed all of it because this is some good, good drinking. Or, I mean, there are very, very mellow tannins in this, and this actually might be a product of the word of the day, bottle bouquet. Ah! So, yes, this uh, bottle bouquet has successfully mellowed out these tannins and made some great, great wine. Ooh, man. Okay. So since we're comparing these two wines to each other, I guess I need to try its younger brother, the 2017. So wine, what do you taste like? Who? Yeah, I can definitely tell a difference. The tannins are definitely mellowed out between the years. This one still has a bit more of bite. I mean, they both don't really have a lot of tannins, but this one has a bit more than the 2016 does. And I want to say, this one actually tastes less mellowed out. I'm really starting to realize why people keep uh, bottles of wine over years, because it, the 2016 is pure velvet in your mouth. It's, man. While I refill my glass, let me tell you about a dish that went excellent with this Zinfandel. It was West Indian style roti with curry chicken and chana and potatoes. The wine, the balance of smooth and spice, the essence of a meal. So which one of these delectable wines has not only won my heart, but also my stomach? I'm gonna have to go with the 2016 Zinfandel. The smooth, smooth bottle bouquet that has happened with this is just amazing. I thoroughly enjoyed the smoothness of it. Uh, not to say that the 2017 is anything to harp on about or bash. It also is equally good, but I feel that the 2016 definitely did edge it out in smoothness. And again, that's just due to the extra year of uh, bottle aging that occurred. The 2017, I am sure, will be probably better, if not as good, as the 2016 next year. But then, where's the 2016 going to be? Even better. So, usually it's good to hold on to reds. They say no more than, like, ugh, 10 years. 10 years seems way too long for me to hold. I can't, I like, even for me to hold on to this 2016 for as long as I've had it, it's been, like, Herculean strength or not to drink a bottle of wine. Definitely have wanted to open this for a while and resisted many, many a day. And I'm glad I resisted because now I get to sample it in 2019 and it's freaking good. It's definitely well worth the wait. I feel bad I won't be able to sample it in 2020 because I didn't buy that many. But uh, you know, you only live once, right? And as we sign off here from this special edition of The Grape List, right-handed in wine, left-handed in wine. Cheers.